Hi guys, welcome back. So today we have got a nail video. So this is how the chrome looked after I think about four or five weeks of wear. So as you can see, no chips at all. So I'm going to start by basically prepping the nails. I've pushed back the cuticles already and I'm coming in with my e-file and I'm going to be using the drill bit which is the cuticle drill bit from Todak USA. And once I've done that, I come in with my corn drill bit, and I think it's the medium one, also from Todak USA, and I'm basically just removing the old gel polish chrome design. I do that on all ten nails, so that, I don't know, I just find it a lot faster than hand filing. It's just a top tip, guys, a top tip. So next I'm coming in and I'm shaping the nails and also removing any of the extra product that I left on there because obviously with that cone bit it is very, very coarse and you don't want to be causing any damage so I don't like to get too close to the natural nail with that. So once I have finished doing everything and all my prep work, I cleanse off the nails and I come in with my cover pink from NSI. I think it's purely pink mask and I'm basically just doing my infill. I have left a lot of the video in here of the infill because you guys said you wanted longer videos, more details and I don't know. So I'm just yeah leaving pretty much most of it in. And guys, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. So when you thumbs up a video or like it or share it, I think it just makes it pop up on people's um, little page on YouTube. You know what I mean? That discover page thingy. So yeah, it means that more people can find my channel, which would be absolutely awesome. So if you can help out that way, then please do. So here I am just going ahead and doing the infill on the other hand. I did go ahead and speed this bit up because obviously I did the last bit, the last hand in real time. So yeah, I still kept it all in there. So you can't shout at me guys. You can't shout at me. So today we are doing the Rose Gold Chrome and this is the gel polish that I used as a base. It's from Candy Coat and it's 100. So basically I go ahead and apply this gel polish as normal with a no wipe top coat on top. So I apply two coats of colour and cure each layer for 60 seconds and then I also apply the no wipe top coat. And when you're doing chrome, it is really, really important that you use a no wipe top coat. I'll leave my video on all about how I do my chrome nails in the description box down below if you want to go ahead and watch that. It just gives you some tips and tricks on how to get it to last and all that jazz. Because I know a lot of people have been having trouble with it chipping, but as you can see in the beginning of the video, I definitely have not had that. So this is the chrome powder that I am going to be using today. And I did do a giveaway for this and nobody claimed it. So if you want to win this, then comment down below the word Chromageddon and I'll enter your name into a hat and you can have it. I will send it to you. I'm just using this eyeshadow applicator and I'm just buffing that into the nail and really pressing it in there to make this really shiny chrome mirror finish. I do that for every single nail and then with a fluffy eyeshadow brush, like it's obviously a clean one, it's not been used for eyes, I just go ahead and dust off the excess product. You don't want anything too hard that it's going to scratch off the chrome, but you don't want anything like that's not going to do anything. So yeah, you need to dust off the excess product before adding any top coat, otherwise it's going to be glittery as fuck. The... 
And don't forget to go and watch my Halloween videos, guys, if you haven't already seen them. Um, yes, I'm trying pretty hard on them. Like, some of them are so basic, but some of them I have spent a long time on, so yeah. It'd be great if you could go and check those out and give them a thumbs up. So here I am again, applying the chrome to the other hand. I have sped this bit up because there's no need to see the same thing again. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? If I sound a bit funny as well, I have got a cold and also my microphone is just being ridiculously stupid. I have no idea what it's even doing. I haven't done anything to it apart from not used it for like a week. Maybe it's being mean to me. In fact, I think it's been two weeks. It's just been a douchebag. Oh well. So I was sent this top coat from this company when I bought the powder. And I... What, what company is it? NC, I can't remember the company, I know it's there, but I can't remember. And I have been using this as a top coat for my chrome, and it has actually lasted better than my other top coats that I have been using. At first I thought it was all a bit of a dodgy, like, you're trying to sell me something that I've already got, but just with a different name. But for me, honestly, it has actually made a difference. Like, yeah, it really has. So it's up to you whether you buy it or not. You can still achieve the chrome look without it just depends just like let your clients know that it is more of like i don't know it's just i don't know you don't want to be selling something to your clients and then it all coming off that's all i'm saying so just let them know before you let them leave or let them get it that it's likely to chip maybe maybe it's not i don't know so this is the final result and it didn't look as chrome as it looked on camera as it did in person like i mean not as chrome as rose gold i mean it looked like the perfect rose gold in real life but it looks more orangey here i promise you it was rose gold so yeah that is what color you need to use as a base if you do want the rose gold effect and yes yeah, so this is the final look and i'll see you in my next video guys thanks for watching bye